Hey so again, what's up, it's the boys, welcome back to the channel, man, you already know we back here again in the grind, don't stop, and I'm here with my boy t man, yo. It's good, y'all, yeah. it's good, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. look, man, we got another reaction video for y'all, but today we about to react to some Mandela Effect videos, man, look. Take 127. <laughs> <laughs> for me, man, yo, shout out Watch Mojo, man, if y'all want the link, the link gonna be down in the description below, make sure y'all go click that. Yo, don't forget, bro. <laughs> yo, don't forget. Hit that like button. Comment down below what y'all think. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell to be notified when I drop my next video. And yo, let's talk, man. Let's get into this, man. Come on. What is real? Welcome to Watch Mojo. Wait, we talked about what the videos about, down right? our picks for the top I don't even told you. them. We didn't even look, tell look. them, man. We gotta let them know, bro. Uh, let's explain to them what... what, what Alright, so look. Pretty much, I'm trying to show them this thing that I've been coming across over and over again with me and my boys. It's called the Mandela Effect. Everyone's like... We're in a different parallel universe than when we started. It's pretty much like certain things that we all remember isn't nice. true. It's just fake. Yep. That shit is just in our brain. But we dreaming, guys. I don't believe in that shit. I personally think we just mixing shit up. That's a fact. The craziest examples of the Mandela effect. For this list, we're looking into the strangest instances of Yo, collective you false memories. Part of it? Otherwise <laughs> known they just as put that the Mandela no effect. <laughs> and no, this they list is it. one itself. We did do a version of this already. We're just adding more entries. It's time to bring her in, George! <laughs> Number 20. It's a beautiful Wait, day in the neighborhood. Wait, hold on. Pause that. You ever yeah. thought about this, bro? The monkey does not sound like a monkey. That was a bird. That was a bird sound just now, bro. Play that shit back. I'm not bugging. What? <laughs> Yo. That was a bird. What? This is a bird. Yo, no, this the right sound, here. No, the sound. The sound. The sound. <laughs> <laughs> the sound the monkey made was a Tony bird sound. Bring her in, George. <laughs> That's not no fucking monkey. Number 20. Bro. <laughs> like, come on, bro. I'm not bugging. Like, what? Your childhood Hold might up. not look the same after this. As we all know good and well, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood always began with its titular host singing its theme song. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. It's a beautiful day for a neighbor. This much is true. But that well-known opening line, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, not so much. Although it doesn't scan quite as well, it's actually a beautiful day in this neighborhood. But how did what? we all miss this when He's we heard duck. the song so, so it. many times in our youth? It's one hell of a day in my neighborhood. A hell of a day for a neighbor. It could be worse, we suppose. It's not like he was wearing leather jackets instead of cardigan sweaters this whole time. Number 19, Fruit of the Loom's logo. Fruit of the Loom is a clothing you know, company right? renowned <clears throat> the world over. The underwear. Its logo yeah. is similarly famous. Underwear t shirts. Or at least that's what many of us they dragged it. Why did put a real In picture fact, of the logo? The logo <laughs> doesn't contain a cornucopia at all. Okay, so maybe an old logo has it, right? Nope. Versions Bro, of the logo. Now nah, I'm not gonna hold you. There has to be a knockoff brand that has the shit right here, bro. That shit goes right here, bro. Right there. That's what I'm trying to show you, bro. But it's a knockoff. It can't be a real brand. Because, look, if you look, bro. There's a fake one and a real one, bro. Either way, bro, bro. That shit is here. We all saw it. It's not no fake shit. Look, look. I looked this up plenty of times, bro. This shit ain't here. It ain't fucking here, Isaac. It's not here, bro. It's not. It's not. Over 100 years lack the cornucopia, too. So why do so many people associate a cornucopia with Fruit of the Loom? Even parodies and references to the Fruit of the Loom logo contain cornucopias. But not you heard that? article. You, you heard that? You heard that? It said even parodies. And by, by parodies, I think they're talking about fake brands. Yeah. Number 18. The Monopoly oh, man. Man's Oh, Mom. this one got you. The board game Monopoly <laughs> features a memorable mascot named Rich Uncle Pennybags, also known as the Monopoly Man or Mr. Monopoly. He's famous for his suit. Top hat and large mustache. What are glasses? However, are? people are divided on whether or not there's no <laughs> glasses, bro. First of all, that's the not art, fucking glasses. The art, right? the art. Is no, it's, it's called Mr. Monopoly. Nah, nah, nah. The, the monocle. It's a monocle. fucking monocle. Yo, Isaac. look, guys. Look, but it's not here. You see, your little theory on them deleting it before we see it. They edit it out, bro. <laughs> Yo, there's a microphone listening to us. By the time it we can't search be it, true, bro, because they like, edit it out. Think about it. It's the same picture as last time. That's still the same mic that's listening to us from mm -hmm. the last time, bro. Mm -hmm. They 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 did that, bro. Why did they throw Reality seems to favor that he doesn't. But our memories of this childhood game because he's the monocle, right? They do that because he's the monocle. Because he he knows. He's supposed to have it. Must be the 
Monopoly uh, guy. Heck, even Ace Ventura made the mistake. And he seems like he's got I'm a good head on his shoulders. Could it be oh, as simple shit. as conflating That's true. Monopoly they man with other rich fat cat mascots oh like God. Mr. Peanut? Or has someone bought up all our memories? <laughs> Number 17, to have sex in the sea. Wait, nah, nah, dead eyes. They fucking everyone up that has it, bro. They're not supposed to have that. Hey, what's wrong with you? This much loved HBO I never show watched and this. subsequent movie I seen a little follow bit a group of four women and their love yeah, lives in New York City. What were you, what bro. were you, yo, bro, what were you doing in 2004 to be watching Sex in the City, bro? Bro, it was just. I don't watch TV. It was just some <laughs> shit I was on TV. I passed by. Oh, shit. <laughs> I see the title. I just see a little bit of it. I don't Is that oh, sex? I don't I'm in. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't sit down and watch it. I don't watch TV. I later, and I completely forgot about him after that. But are you sure that that isn't just because Oh, was that that part? I remember that part. However, strangely, there is some disagreement on what its title is. Although some would swear up and down it's called Sex in the City, its title is actually Sex and the City. Now, the easy explanation is that people tend to slur the word sex a lot. and the so city, the sex not sex and the in the city. Becomes sex in the city. Explanation is that in the city, it's uh, nah, actually though. sex and the city. The fuck? Now, Nobody the easy cable? explanation is see that it. people it tend to slur the word sex and the city. Fuck? I'm my mind if I'm seeing it right or wrong. I just, yeah. However, there also seems to be plenty of merch and newspaper headlines bearing the word in instead of and. So, what gives? Did reality go out Wait, for what? Maybe it really is. Sex Number and 16, the Lucy sex has some explaining to do. I Love Lucy I is a classic the sitcom the title and is among actually. the most influential TV shows of all time. It's Ricky. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Rick. Now, what's going on here? Why'd you slam the door in their face? Well, Lucy's husband on the show, Ricky Ricardo, played by real-life husband Desi Arnaz, had a particularly memorable catchphrase. Lucy, you've got some explaining to do. Or did he? Lucy, I'm not that old, bro. you got yeah. some explaining to do. While Ricky frequently said the word splain in various contexts, he never says this exact quote, despite the supposed line being cited all over pop culture. So say you got some explaining to do. <laughs> it could just be a summation of Ricky's frustration with Lucy's antics distilled into a catchphrase that never was. No cap, bro. You know they lost me. They don't even got colors, man. Yo, look at Google trying to get the ads in, bro. Shit, we blocking this out. I'm just blurring that shit. That's OD, bro. They didn't even give us a second to just pause it. Nothing, bro. They just... You can't even skip it. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy, bro. Number 15. Oscar Mayer versus Oscar Mayer. Oh American my god. Company. You see that? You see that? It says Oscar Mayer. And they said Mayer. This book is Oscar fucking Mayer, bro. Wrong. Oscar Mayer. Look, oh my god. An American meat company. Oscar Mayer has remained a bro, fixture bro, of pop culture. Bro, bro, they wasn't talking about this. Yeah, they logo, just delivering shit. Now they got a hot dog delivery. Oh my. <laughs> but its name is the source of some <laughs> Yo, this shit got a whole bike. I thought that shit was by itself. The weird sickle. What the fuck? The glizzes is just traveling around, bro. There's no way. What am I listening to? Be seen spelling it M E Y E R. Oh, this is the so fucking Oscar Mayer shit. The alternate the spelling is more common, leading to misspellings. My You think with one of its jingles having lyrics literally spelling out the company's name, though, it would be impossible to get Oscar Mayer. But here are those. Oscar Mayer. The name is Oscar Mayer, right? <laughs> He's like, she named it. No, she didn't. It's not even she. Nah, it's a he. That was a he. And they fucking up This one is OD, head. bro. He <coughs> um, um, Mirror Mirror? Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Mirror. Do call on it. Yo. He says Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Except that's not the line in the Disney movie. Magic Mirror on the Wall. Who is the fairest one of all? In Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the Queen wall. says yeah, Magic Mirror, mirror, on, mirror on, on the Wall. wall. This is a strange I'm still jacking. The original fairy Imagine. tale has we're the just same dumb. mirror mirror. It's just the Disney Nah, movie. we're just dumb, bro. Mirror, mirror on the wall. But I don't, I don't got that. See, but this is what I don't understand. You would think that, like, Shrek and shit, like, they would get it right. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So, like. Maybe they forgot to take rid of Shrek, bro. They forgot to get rid of Shrek. They left Shrek in that bitch. Who's the fairest of them all? Number 13. Curious Back with this nigga. It's Curious a fucking George bird. A the bird. It's a bird. <laughs> it's not a fucking monkey right there. That's hey, a dumb voice, bro. Kite flying weather, huh? Given how long hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, he's ready to get his ass taken, bro. Yo. <laughs> and most monkeys yeah. have tails. Apes generally don't, by the way. And Curious George is repeatedly referred to as a monkey. 
<laughs> now he sounds like a fucking monkey. Could the common confusion between the two sets of primates be the root of this Mandela effect, or has reality changed the features of George's posterior? Whatever. Bro, no, no, bro. He never had a tail. He used to wear a diaper, bro. Number twelve, Mona Lisa smile. The Mona Lisa is arguably the most famous painting in the world, and has been discussed and dissected for half a millennium. From the strange phenomenon of her eyes appearing to follow you to her enigmatic smile. However, for some, the lack. First of all, every picture follows you around. You do realize no, that. No, no. Her what? shit really tracks you. Bro, bro, you never, like, just seen a, a picture, bro. Yeah, or no, somewhere, look, bro. Look, you look, look at look it. Look right there, bro. Look like, right like, there. Like, come on, that bro. Is I, this is not. Staring at us, bro. <laughs> that nigga just freaked me the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, this is not nothing special, bro. Nah, nah, no, but it's not even that. That's not what they're talking about. Bro. The eyes just However, blinking, some following you. Wait, especially mysterious, Wait. since there are many who claim that she didn't used to be smiling at all. Granted, it might just be that those exposed to the painting at an early age got better at reading her expression. Still, that so many people could be confused about one of the most studied pieces of art ever made. I thought she wasn't smiling. I thought she had a straight face. It just makes her so scary. But if she's smiling, Dr. it's like... Dr. Hannibal Lecter greets <laughs> Agent Clarice Starling from his cell. A lot of us remember him saying, Hello, Clarice, in that chilling tone. After all, that's the quote that everyone references all over pop culture. Good evening, Clarice. Yet, in reality, Dr. Lecter never says this quote in The Silence of the Lambs, even if he approximates it in the sequel. Is this Clarice? Well, hello, Clarice. He says good morning to her and even good evening, Clarice, but never that infamous quote. So, are people simply misquoting yeah, well, the film because hello no, works at all scary. hours of the day? You watch it. Or is what there is it a more for? sinister explanation at work? Sounds Number of the 10, limbs. Pikachu's pale color. The adorable yellow... Yo, this makes no sense, bro. The They're confusing Raichu with Pikachu, bro. I promise you, bro. If I show you Raichu right now, it has a fucking black thing on its tip. Yeah! Bro, you can't... I can't fucking miss that Pikachu, bro. This, this nigga's yellow, you straight up. I always remember that. Into the brains of generations like, where would it tell mm -mm. after them? Mm -mm. Look. Gotta, gotta, right, gotta, gotta, gotta. Pikachu. Generations. Look at this. Look at this. I swear. Yo, okay, all the Pikachu ones. That's the only. What? Yo, bro, there's different Pikachus, bro. What are they saying? Alright, maybe I'm bugging. Alright, we don't want to see the one with the black tail, first of all. Yeah, they definitely removed it, bro. See? They hurt us, bro. See? I'm but look, telling y'all. But look, if you look at Raichu now. What the fuck? Nah. Bro. nah. There is the definitely one, one is that has. Like, oh, like, that shit's like fucking right, fuck it, bro. Now I'm a little confused. Well, now we know that's the real Pikachu. The black shit with the black tail is fake. Yo, what? It's nah. a light. But there are those who are convinced that Pikachu's tail, like its ears, used to have black on the end. Because of this misconception, there are plenty of images available that feature Pikachu with a black tail. So that nah. could be to blame. Or it has to be some other type of Pikachu, bro. There's like shiny, there's all those different types, bro. Or maybe people are remembering Pikachu something they were into as kids and are surprised when they revisit it as adults. <coughs> Number nine, Looney Tunes. This one is we're ridiculous. Look at how yo, look at, look at the way I'm they spell it. I'm still on it. I see. Look at the way they spell it right here. I already see. And that's the prop. I see. Looney Tunes. We're getting to some deep cuts now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like nose bad. <laughs> With the head scratching yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, bro, I don't know. I started Looney thinking more about it, and I'm like, yeah, Brother no matter where we look, bro. Fuck I'm going to I'm argue with you, man. I don't even want to search it, bro, because it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I remember this shit. Well but I don't remember him looking like Black Face for Kraken. But as famous as Looney Tunes mm. is, there are some who believe its name it's spelling is no longer normal. the same. Some people yeah. really remember its name as being Toons, T-O-O-N-S, as in cartoons. But it makes While no sense. If you look up Looney Tunes, it's going to say Toons with an O-O-O. That's why... Bro, well, that's what I said at first, but now they heard us talk and they changed it. So we gotta believe it, bro. That's not how it works, bro. That's not how life works. You can't just assume that they hear us talk. They, they, bro, they, they, they heard us, bro. Tinkerbell they heard us. writing the Disney logo. Walt Disney's Disneyland. When you wish upon a star. Considering how big Disney is, they sure have a lot of us misremembering their properties. 
During a lot of Disney animated features, the introduction Actually, usually the features the Disney logo. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that shit. And the name in distinctive Luffy handwriting. He was just a young However, many fans seem yeah, to recall the character Peter even Bell from Peter Pan appearing in these intros. <coughs> no. They said the year. Oh, I'm they like, how do people know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Although Tinkerbell song. has appeared in several variants Look of this sequence, a lot of us remember her using her wand to write out the word Disney before dotting the I with sparks. Despite many you know similar versions, that, right? none of them wow. quite get it the way it's described. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I'll push the thing. Mm. What? Nah, this one is always good. Mm. this one up to magic? Number seven. Play it again, Sam. Nah, there's a lot of shit I want to watch now. Cinema, <coughs> yeah, these are like really fucking old. Like, why would they do that to us? Yeah, yeah, that that was some fake ass this? American. America, what was that? American Dad? No. no. Family Guy. Right? Family Guy. But that's not a fake American. That's some cool ass Family Guy. The line played again, Sam, a directive to the piano player to play as time goes by, is often associated with Humphrey Bogart's character Rick, yet he never says the words. Can Family Guy come out? When? You see, she has me questioning reality on all close, different levels, bro. When did Family Guy come out? Because that shit said 19 could be that something. In the pre-home video days, people just misremember the line. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Bro, and he named I ain't gonna no lie, first. though. I would have watched the old Disney ones better than right? more than the yeah. fucking new ones. They look more. Yo, bro, they just hopped on this shit, bro. <laughs> except, like, wow. except for that gay-ass fairy that popped up. Number six. That nigga just me up, Scotty. Nah, that's a faggot. <laughs> 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 you already gave fucking backlash for Lil Nas X shit, bro. Yo, Scotty, beat me up. Most often attributed to Captain Kirk, this exact mm -hmm. phrase is not spoken by anyone in the franchise. This Although, in fairness, similar Time wordings travel. like the voyage home Scotty beat me up were used from time to time. Well, beat me up, Scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> that's Scotty. Yeah, beat me uh, up, Scotty. They have said that. Oh shit, hold on. But why does this? <coughs> Bless you, beat you up, Scotty. Nah, beat me up, beat me up, beat me up, beat me up, Scotty. People just like the sound of it. I'm Did someone tamper actually. with our timeline? Yeah, what do you think about fucking? Or did a transporter accident send some of us um, into a mirror Trump. universe? That's the Number same. Five, Nelson Wait, Mandela's death. This is the memory that gives the Mandela effect its name. South African President Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in prison before being released in 1990. Or was he? A great number of people seem to remember Mandela dying in prison and reading about this fact in textbooks or seeing it on the news. Even Mandela's actual death in 2013 from a respiratory infection did little to quell the uneasy feeling in people's minds that something about the world or their minds had been altered. I'm bugging. What, when did Nelson Mandela die? Not even that. Wasn't that him just walking in the crowd? Yes. But you don't understand. Older people think that Nelson Mandela died in the 90s. Mm-hmm. When did he die? In 2013. That shit just bust my head. I now, you don't it. understand. There's fully riots about this, bro. Like, look. Actual death about this fact. A text number of people seem to remember Mandela dying in prison. And reading about this fact in textbooks or I'm seeing it on the news. Shit, Even Mandela's actual death in 2013 from a mm -hmm. respiratory infection did little to quell the uneasy feeling in people's minds that something about the world or their minds had been altered. What? Number four, life is like a box of chocolates. Nah, this Boxing one on a park bench has <laughs> me on so Because there was an app when we were kids, right? Mm -hmm. And you could like, I don't remember what it was. It was like something that can cover your face. It was like early Snapchat filter on some shit. Yeah. But actually, it doesn't cover your face. It's just a video. Anyway, it makes like a baby talk, right? Mm -hmm. And that shit used to say, "Life is like a box of chocolates." Now look, that comes from Forrest Gump. I know. I remember but coming from him. I know. Mama always felt, that. quote, "Life was like a box of chocolates." It's an iconic phrase, but one we're likely all guilty of misremembering. Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. You got You never know what you're gonna get. In fact, his mama, and thus our simple hero, said that, quote, life is a box of chocolates. It's perfectly plausible that people have nearly all Wait, what? Oh, he quote, said life is a box of chocolates. His mama no. said life fact, is mama, like a box no, of chocolates. No, no, no. His hero said that, quote, life is a box of chocolates. In fact, his mama, and thus our simple hero, said that, quote, life no, no, is guilty of misremembering. Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. Oh, my God. Life is a box of chocolates, right? In fact, his mama, and thus our simple hero, I'm bugging, what the fuck am I missing? She said, she's saying life is a box of chocolates. Uh-huh. 
And what he said. Everybody in the world. Said no, life he, doesn't, is, he doesn't say it. Oh, everybody in the world saying everybody life is thinks like. Life is like a box of chocolates. Oh, That's what I, always, I heard. I always it's used to that that people have merely altered the quote to be more general. So you tell me he said the same thing his mother said, and we still got it fucked up. No, what I'm saying is he said that to the lady. It's like a old lady. Oh, yeah, he's repeated it her shit. But then the old lady is his mom. He repeated it to her, and we still messed up, bro. Stop, stop, Just trying to show you. Stop. It's like a box of chocolates. Mama doesn't say the quote like that in flashbacks. Number three, Luke, I am your father. The immortal line is more mortal than you think. You killed him. No, I am the father. Yeah, he said, no, I am your father. Yeah, yeah I heard that clearly. No, Everyone but... Everyone who's ever heard of Star Wars knows this quote. Yet in the actual film, Darth Vader says to Luke, no, I am your father. You've never heard someone say, Luke, I am your father. References not heard that, but from him, Star just not Wars heard. Fans, no. Still yes. Yes. Just because of the yes, fact I had to play. that shit is changed, bro. No. Have we all just misquoted it because Luke provides more context? Or mm -hmm. have some of us come to this reality from that? far, far away? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Luke, I'm not a fan of Star Wars. I am your father. This isn't the only Star Wars example of the Mandela effect either. Just check out C-3PO's leg sometime. Number two, starring Sinbad, Shazam. Quick question. Who starred in the 90s movie about a genie? I am Shazam! Mm -hmm. Some of yeah, us correctly sure. recall it being NBA star Shaquille O'Neal, who had a sporadic movie career throughout the 90s. However, others believe the star of the film in question was the comedian and actor Sinbad, who starred in a number of children's films during that same time period. Really sure Racism! That's what Jesse Jackson was talking about! Others also believe this non-existent film starring Sinbad was called Shazam rather than Kazam, which they claim is something else entirely. Are people conflating multiple movies in their minds? <coughs> if only we had a genie to magically solve this mystery. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel Shazam and movie. ring the bell. It was to Shazam. About our latest videos. Shazam. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos. Yeah. Kazam, Shazam. It's, it's, it's understandable it's how they would mix it up. It was always Shazam. I never heard of Kazam, bro. Wait, what? Kazam was with Shaq. Number one, I never the heard Kazam. Bear. That's him. What you mean? You know that, that was the name of the movie, Kazam? Yeah, with Shaq. I saw with Shazam. The no, that's the thing. That's the thing. There was another one named Shazam. I'm pretty sure. Starring Sinbad, Almost 100% sure. Look, look. Who in the this is Kazam. That's Shazam, bro. No, Shazam is a Marvel character. Bro. That is Kazam. So He's a genie. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I always thought that movie was called Shazam, bro. No, he's cousin. That's crazy. They think he was Shazam. No, they they think he was Kazam, but in reality, I think he had another movie called Shazam. The original Marvel movie. But then again, that's probably not true. Wait, time out. So you trying to tell me that's not true? No, Shazam came out in 2019 again. Are people conflating multiple movies in their minds? If only we had a genie to magically solve so this mystery. imagine if it's just all wrong and we Before just... We yo, continue, you know what's gonna happen, right? Sure in like 20 years, something else is gonna be different. Get notified yes. about our latest videos. Like, he Brian never said that. Family Guy is gonna be, be like Steve or some shit. Or all of them. So, yeah, if you're yeah, on your phone, make sure you go into your I'm gonna be tight. Nah, I'll really freak the fuck out. <laughs> That's OD. That's a big-ass change. Berenstein Bears. You know that series of slightly saccharine children's books about a family of bears and the cartoons based off them? You never read them? What were they called? The Berenstein Bears are remembered by many as part of I read that shit. That shit was fire. However, I had that shit. the Berenstein Yo, bro, Bears at all. Stop. They're the Berenstein Bears. The Berenstein Bears. Yeah, you know that, right? The Berenstein Bears. It's not the Berenstein yeah. Bears. The it's the Berenstein Bears. The easy explanation is that names that end in Steen are far more common than those that end in Stain. And a lot of us were exposed to the stories as kids and misread or misheard the titles multiple times. No. Yeah. While some of us can shake it. it off, for others, this is a stain on reality. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other no, recent clip from Watch Mojo. Not all of them. Yeah. <coughs> well, that's what's fitting. That's man. that. If y'all want to see that little description, I'll open it up for you. Boom, boom, boom. You see they they want to you know they go and put all of their videos and their things, and then you know you go over here and you see the stuff I watch for chill. Anyway, wait. But look, man, Hold if y'all made it to this part, man, look. Wait. Let me know what y'all think in the comment. Let me know if your head was bust, because my head was bust, and I'm still... My your head, head was is, not bust. My head your is head still was bust. not bust, because you still think... You know why my head is bust? Because of this drink right here, man. You my still think that this shit is a lie. I don't think so. I honestly think that something's going on. Now, a lot of this shit is still a lie. Mr. Monopoly, he... Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> what else, bro? That shit, bro, is a lot, Mr. bro. Mr. Monopoly is, has a monocle. He has one. I'm jagging. Imagine it, it wasn't called a monocle. I'm just saying that shit. That's how dumb, too. <laughs> yo. Oh, yo. Y'all know, y'all know what we mean, man. Look, let's talk. So if y'all made it to this part, make sure y'all leave a like. Comment down below what y'all think about the video. What y'all want us to react to. Hold on, wait. Not just what we want to react to. Anything. 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 Literally. 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 Like, we don't know John, bro. Anything. Shit. Anything. We don't even Whatever you want to see, bro. You want to see me jump off the cliff? I mean, no, what? I'm not doing <laughs> you <one>. what? <laughs> but look, nah, wait. Hold on. We can jump off. No, 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 no. Into the water. What water? I can't swim, nigga. We just you going to swim today? <laughs> I can't swim, bro. But look, man. I'm out of here, man. Hit that subscribe button. Let's talk safety. Bow.